Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to see how to add some impulsion according to the weapon that we are currently using in our hand. So if I take the assault rifle right here and shoot at this cube, you can see that it's doing a certain amount of force. I'm going to take another weapon. I'm going to take the shotgun and that's a different amount of power, obviously. And if I take the sniper rifle, it's going to be another power. So we're going to see exactly how to add some impulsion according to the weapon that we're currently using. Something that is very important to do is that the object that we're shooting at, the static mesh, need to have physic enabled. So here, if you go down and you search for physic, you need to make sure that the simulate physic is enabled for your object. Otherwise, even if you touch an items that doesn't have physic enabled, it's not going to work and your impulsion for your weapon will do absolutely nothing. Well, the first thing that we have to do is going to our master weapon blueprint, which is under items, guns, and we're going to go, I mean, just under items, I'm going to take the weapon master class. And here we're going to create another variable and it's going to be a type float and we're going to put the name of bullet impact force and I'm going to put that under weapon right here and I'm going to leave the default value as zero because we're going to manage this force according to the weapon that we have so we're going to compile this and we can save this class so we're going to go back and now we're going to go under gun and we're going to open the assault rifle and under the assault rifle here we have the bullet impact force so I'm gonna put 200 for the assault rifle I'm gonna go back and we're gonna take the shotgun and the shotgun is a little bit more powerful so I'm gonna put something around 500 and once again we're gonna do that with the sniper rifle and the sniper rifle will have something around 700 so we already have what we need so we're gonna go to our first person character and here under the first person character after the line trace we're going to go to the it result here and we're going to drag from that and we're going to start doing our code. So from here, we're going to drag and we're going to search for is physic enable. And we're going to take is physic enable collision right here. And from this, we're going to drag this and we're going to put that to the it actor. And here we're going to OB to your branch and we'll connect this branch to our it result from the line trace here. And we're going to connect this. So if the collision is enabled, so I mean the physic is enabled on the object, we're going to be able to go through our code to add some impulsion. So if it's true, add some physic. So we're going to search for set physic and we're going to search for linear, set physic linear velocity. So this one here, and I'm going to select this. So from that now, we're going to plug the target to our ilt result right here. And here to make sure that the object is moving in the other direction of our weapon. So we're going to have to take the forward vector of our camera here. So we are looking on our camera forward. So we're going to drag from that here. And actually there's a line here. So I'm going to take this line here. And we're just going to search for multiplier. So we'll just search for multiplier. And we're going to change the bottom pin here to a float with single precision and we're going to connect this to our value right up here so the only thing that we have to put here now is very simple is going to be the reference to our weapon master class and the bullet impact that we did so the bullet impact force so we're going to take the number for this and i'm going to plug it right there so depend of the weapon that we have is going to use a different number that's going to be multiply by the forward vector where we're looking and it's going to add this to the object. So if we compile and we try this out, so technically it should work. So we're going to take the assault rifle and you can see that we have a small amount of impulsion. But if I take the shotgun, it's going to be bigger. And if I take the sniper rifle, it's going to be another num uh, uh, I mean another force. So we can see that it's working now. However, uh, I'm just going to change that a little bit uh, because I don't want the code to stay right there. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to select all of that. We are going to collapse to a function. And I'm going to rename this function get 
bullet impact force like this so what we're going to do is if we're going to open it in those two here we can put that all under the same so we can put that under two we can go back here we can unplug three and just do a refresh and we can delete this one here so now we only have one so it's look a little bit better so here we're going to call that it component and this here is going to be our forward vector for our camera so we're just going to put here forward vector and now if i compile that if i double click in it our code is right there so it's look a little bit more organized when we're here on our event graph and if we have anything else we can continue our code right here so let's try if it's work so technically nothing has changed so it should work perfectly for us it's still working so that's great we're gonna try the other gun and same thing it's gonna work and try the sniper rifle which work as well so it's how you had impulsion using a line trace so we'll catch you on the next one